And here we are, the culmination of our South Dorset Ridgeway pilgrimage from Bank Barrow to Bank Barrow. Here you're going to be taking in the Martins Down, the long, breedy Bank Barrow. But first of all, we just pick up our journey cutting westwards. Think about how most people will see or not see the Bank Barrow. If you know where to look when you're driving eastwards, there you were. It was on the skyline. <laughs> Returning to our more organic form of going past. Here we are panning around to the south and there we have the new close coppice in the direction of the Kingston Russell Stone Circle, bathed in this glorious green verdant landscape, amazing. And now we begin walking westwards again, past more barrows, through fields resting for the winter. You can see, just see the moon at the top of the screen there. and the sun is beginning to wester quite substantially. The winter hedgerows, side lit, look magnificent with their colors. Yes, most may have defoliated by now, but the new growth, the pending awakening a month or two later is there. The cotton wool clouds just hanging around, just looking back, thinking, and before we cut across the field to the bank barrow itself, there's a hollowway with plenty of cultivation strips and cattle terracing trodden in by centuries, if not millennia, of livestock movements on this very landscape, of farmers, of people connecting and being in the landscape, which walking does so much for me, it connects. The day I did most of this filming, I had actually started at the Broadmain Bank Barrow and thereby completed perhaps a 20 year-ish, maybe more, wish to join Bank Barrow to Bank Barrow in one day. Unique Dorset monuments along one of the most dense areas of barrows in the country. A sacred, interconnected landscape people interacting on this for millennia. Now the bank barrow is just forming on the horizon there and you can see the cut through made sometime in antiquity. It would have been continuous and a reminder of what the bank barrow appears like as you belt 60 miles an hour along the main road and if you know where to look as you bend your neck around, you'll see it. But now we will do our final walk along the Martins Down, the Long Breedy Bank Barrow. Now I'm gonna to read to you from John Gale's Gazetteer in his book, Prehistoric Dorset. Just going on top of the north eastern side of the barrow here. John Gale writes, Bank Barrows appear to be a highly localised variant of the Long Barrow tradition. There are three, possibly four examples in Dorset, with that on Martinsdown being an excellent example of the type. With the exception of that found within the ramparts of Maiden Castle. None of these monuments has been excavated archaeologically. Martinsdown Bank Barrow like its contemporaries, consists of an exceptionally long parallel sided bank with flanking quarry ditches. The Martins Down example is 197 metres long, 13 metres wide and approximately 1.75 metres high. The barrow shows signs of having been damaged in antiquity with a gap cuts through it three quarters along its length towards its north eastern end. And while we're considering the Martins Down 
bank barrow. We need to ponder Cursus monuments, large rectangular monuments also made in the Neolithic. Martin Gale writes of the Long Breedy Cursus. One of only three or four currently identified Cursus monuments located in the county, the Cursus at Long Breedy can only be seen through the benefits of aerial photography when the ground conditions are correct. The Cursus is located close to the Bank Barrow on Martins Down, with which it is probably contemporary. There are no traces of the monument visible at ground level. A second Cursus just to the north recently observed from the air, suggests that this part of the Neolithic landscape was of some significance. So, in terms of connecting the two bank barrows, this is it. A magnificent opportunity taken over several months to film and be in and feel and remember these locations which I will probably never have again. As part of the framing of these videos, there is another video available which explains why I've described it as a pilgrimage, some of the difficulties and reasons that I ended up doing this, how I ended up doing this. So please look up that video Thank you for joining me on this pilgrimage east to west from a broad main bank barrow to the Long Breedy Martinsdown Bank Barrow.